in this orthogonal array testing as the number of input value grows you can say number of variables and each variable takes different discrete value that is each data item different values can be taken there are immensely number of test cases that can be made for example a can take 0 1 2 b can take say 0 1 2 c can take value as 0 1 2 now if abc is okay if you go up to z if they for the larger larger products or uh, projects it will be various variables various input values a can go up to 3 b can go up to 5 c so exhaust exhaustive testing is not possible here we apply the orthogonal array testing and this is applied when input domain is small but too large to accommodate the exhaustive testing so oat is useful in finding the region fault that is if a is 0 b is 1 and say c is 2 then the array, array, the problem is coming so this is the faulty logic at this point the logic is faulty let us take uh, three input values for example three input items x y z now this x y z so three values and they may take each of them can take three values so how many possible test cases are there at 3 to the power 3 27 now this is manageable okay what is the geometric view of the possible test cases here you have x y and z we represented with the x y z axis and these round points are the possible test cases if uh, one item at a time if we assume that the result is relatively limited coverage of the input domain if we equally distribute it one item at a time if we distribute it using the l9 orthogonal array or the all the you know here you see when oat occurs an l9 orthogonal array of test cases is created so the l9 orthogonal array has a balancing property and these test cases are represented by dark dot in order to understand this because this is was the just the theory let us say we have a send function for some faxing application four parameters are there p1 p2 p3 p4 or you can say four Uh, variables are there and the function is send so this is a function send we have four variables p1 p2 p3 p4 and each of these that is p1 can take say certain values three values p1 can be 1 it can be 1 uh, corresponding to send it now p1 can be 2 send the fax one hour later or p1 can be 3 send it after midnight so if one item at a time we take that is just a simple way of representing it p1 p2 p3 p4 combination now if you see all these combination only one value is changed here it is 3 here it is 2 only one value is changed because we are taking the policy of one input item at a time and that will create immense pressure on the test cases but these would only uncover only single mode faults if any one of these has error the faults can be computed and what are the number of test cases required 3 raised to the power 4 okay 3 raised to the power 4 which is 81 3 variables are four variables are there and each variable can take three options 81 but when we go ahead with various numbers we have a problem so fadke he actually introduced it actually this is called a taguchi design so fadke assesses that we can have it solved by l line orthogonal array orthogonal array testing that is if we have sent p1 p2 p3 p4 a single mode fault is consistent problem with any level of any single parameter if p equals 1 causes an error condition it will be single mode failure okay now the 1 and p1 p2 we have to choose that also that is called the double mode faults if only p1 or p2 or p3 p4 is giving some error it is single mode p1 p2 double mode combination of all these is multi multi mode faults so what we do here is we make a taguchi design 
and only nine only nine test cases we can make only nine test cases and this is a prescribed way of doing it i am saying that this is 1112223333 for p1 1231231233 for p3 p2 p3 is 123 and then becomes 231 and 312 p4 becomes 123312 and 231 this is you have to write and now test case 1 will be p1 p2 p3 p4 for all these values 